Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back at this place, Swick it in on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, I could not find the town that I was looking for that was to the east of wherever it is that we're trying to go to, and then on my way back from the cave that we got lost in and got a whole bunch of uh, money out of, um, I found the kit. I found the town, but uh, we'll get there momentarily. I think we have a couple artifacts here that we can check out, I think. Um... And I think the whole purpose of these is just for selling, as far as I know. So this costs... Oh, they're not going to tell me how much it, it costs. Okay, fair enough. And I'm not sure, but I think that actually took money to appraise, but I could be wrong. Anyways, uh, the vase will sell for... Oh, 2500 Okay. Sure, why not? And that should be good there. Now let me see something here. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a individual bag like option here. I don't think there is. I think it's just well, not here. But okay, I just wanted to check to make sure because some people were saying there might be, some people were saying there weren't. So I just wanted to do a quick check to be on the safe side here. Um, a couple other things. Apparently, this guy's name is Tier, uh, T I R. Uh, well, I didn't know that when I started the game, so I named him Poodle. And I guess I'll call him Tier every once in a while if I bother to remember. But well, there we go. Um, let's see where is it? I got a Holy Crystal drop from someone, so it looks like it just gives like the dash ability when we when we put it on our character or whatever. But I don't know if it'll give like any like Holy Magic either. So, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the crystal guy and do that. So, that'll be nice. And then we'll head off to the town that I have to get to. Since I know where it is. It's actually literally east. Like, I was trying to go different spots to check stuff out. And, yeah, it's not any of that. It's just right across the way. So, let's attach the holy crystal to... Oh, I thought it was a holy rune, not a holy crystal. Okay, it is a... It, it, never mind. I, I forgot. Crystals, when you attach them, they become runes. Okay. Oh, I guess, uh... Whee! Holding down the circle button, I can dash all fast. Yay. I wish it was a toggle, but... Oh, well. Yeah, because, like, a lot of games, they have... The, the, the dash, we can also set up to... Or maybe not the dash, but, you know, the running part. Like, uh, for example, in, I think, Grandia, you can just walk with the D-pad, but then you use the analog stick and you automatically run. So I was hoping that would be the same thing here, but... Oh, well. Uh, rune... Yeah, it doesn't look like it actually gave any combat any things. So, oh, well. We'll just have to live with that. And apparently, Cleo is supposed to be a mage. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the fire crystal from from tier here and give it to her see if she learns any any other fire stuff here and he might not be able to take it off yeah because he's overloaded okay and I'm gonna see if she actually learns anything else here so I don't let's just trade out you for I don't think it really matters I'll just give it to you I guess All right, let's take this off real fast. And attach it to Cleo here. Okay, there we go. That works for that. Now, I don't know if it'll actually tell you... Actually, it will tell you right here, won't it? Okay, so yeah, she'll get an extra... She'll get an extra ability there, Firestorm. Okay, fair enough. Oh, also... Uh, with Pawn here, I figured out that I think his Boar Rune ability was actually available the whole time, and I just didn't realize it, so... Oops. I mean, it's not that big of a deal as far as I can tell. I think it just does a lot of extra damage. And apparently the Dash Rune does not work outside here. But yeah, the town we're looking for is right... here, literally. So, yeah. But the Boar Rune... It just lets you do extra damage on an attack, as far as I can tell. I think in the game manual, it says something like 15 times damage, but 
it might just be a, a misprint in the manual there. I don't think it's actually going to give that much extra damage. Okay, so let's fight you. Actually, let's see. Yep, kill the crow. You kill the other crow. You use your boar rune on the boar. Uh, you, let's see, Firestorm. I guess Firestorm is a multi-target spell. Yeah, okay. That's what it seems like. So let's check it out, and then you go ahead and target one of the crows there. Granted, they're probably not going to survive. Extra crispy. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, those guys didn't stand a chance. And 400, 400 bits, gold, whatever, because the boars give lots of money. So yeah, this is the Rockland area that we have to get to as far as I can tell. How you doing, bud? So the military commander is way up there. Uh, Grady, we're going to have to talk to him. Uh, you know, let's heal up our MP real fast. Uh, is it going to cost anything? Oh, it is. Okay, 30. Um, don't stay just yet. I want to see what this guy says. You're all out of tea. Yeah, so it's uh, like the poor man's tea, so we don't get any of it. Okay, fair enough. I'll be honest, the only type of tea that I like is brisk lemon iced tea in a can. Uh, it can't be in the plastic bottle, it doesn't taste very good. So I don't really care for like the, the hot tea or anything like that, or like green tea. Then again, I guess I like the brisk lemon uh, half and half tea, the half lemonade, half iced tea. That's actually really good. And a lot of stores don't sell it for some reason, but I think it's delicious. Boris Imperials make tea taste na lousy. Yeah, um, with coffee and stuff, there's a lot of places that are like, oh, America has crap coffee, and then everywhere else is great. And again, they do the same thing with beer, too. And again, I don't drink coffee or beer, so yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing that they don't like us here. I am not fat. I am fit as a fiddle, my good sir. Yeah, they really don't seem to like the whole Imperial Soldier type dealio here. Alright, let's go ahead and stay. Just to get our MP back that we used. Not that we used a whole lot of it, but still. Contest. What kind of contest? Oh, I thought you were going to, like, just... I thought she was just going to say, Oh, pick a hand or something in the left, right. Uh, money in hand. Okay, I didn't see what she said, so hang on. We'll try We'll try again. Let me actually go ahead and save before we get too far here. I'm not going to, like, try to save scum this at all. I'm just going to... I'm just going to see how it works and maybe try it a couple times, see if I make any cash. If I do, awesome. If, if I don't, whatever, we'll live. Let's just save here. And let's just rewrite. Oh, we can have eight save files, that's perfect. So let's do that. And that should be fine. Uh, we have what? 14,000 gold or something like that? 16,000 so we can actually try the thousand or six or ten thousand option there All right, so what do you got here? How much do you want to bet? Oh, I thought she was actually like giving the explanation earlier. Uh, screw it. Let's go all out with 10,000 bits Okay, so let's see right there I think it's the one on the left Hey, what's up? Fantastic. That actually worked out pretty good. Then again, it doesn't seem like I actually got that much more than I... Yeah, you want to get like a... Oh! Okay, I thought it was counting down like you gained 10,000 or whatever there. So it looked like I only gained... It looked like a... It looks like they only gave me part of it, and they only gave me something like, um, they only gave me something like an extra 2,000 or something like that. Okay, cool. I might, I might do this a little more, but I'll try it one more time on screen, and if I win again, awesome. If I don't, well, I'll try it again off screen. 
later, but we got other things to do at the moment. But that actually worked out pretty good. I'm assuming if you could do that pretty reliably, you could make a pretty good, decent chunk of change, but I'm probably not that great at it, so yeah. Alright, we're going to try this again here. All right, let's go for 10,000 again. I see you. I think it's the one on the right. I was wrong. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and reset there. Yeah, I think it's pretty much luck-based if you actually manage to get it or not. So I'll just go do it every once in a while. But I think we should be fine. Money doesn't seem to be too much of a uh, big concern at the moment here, so I think we should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, rock formation. Let's get out of here. It doesn't seem to start you on the last save file for whatever reason, but I think we'll live with that. And I noticed it seems to show like a little random creature right there. Like uh, earlier when I loaded it up, I forget what, what the show, but it, was, it wasn't a cat. I think it was like a, a dog or a boar or something. I don't know if that serves any purpose or if it's just, you know, random sprites to brighten up your day, I guess. Alright, what do we got in this little house? I don't want any food. Ah, uh, they're probably talking about the soldiers again. I'm part of the Imperial Army. I am a new recruit. Well, Emperor Barbarossa is just trying to expand his territories and power and just, you know, live the good life. He's not really too big on caring about the little guys, apparently. But you guys are just going to have to live, I guess. Alright, medicine, escape talisman, and any toxin. So nothing that I actually need there. So that's fine. Since we have more than enough, what is it, uh, healing items. Is there anything in the well? A deep well. Conversation prohibited. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I am. Ah, so apparently the army guys hanging around here just aren't that nice. So we gotta show them that not everybody's mean. Yeah, I already I was already over there in the East Mountain, and I got a whole bunch of money out of it. I don't know if we're gonna have to go back there for like a story type thing, but we might. I don't know. I mean, I might have just found that place completely on, or completely early for whatever reason. But oh well. I don't have any food. I have medicine. I don't think that's gonna help though. Sorry, kid. I would, I would think that you guys would actually be able to tell the difference if the new emperor like raised or lowered the taxes, and then that would how you, that would be pretty much how you guys were able to tell. But then again, I guess the emperor wouldn't care about a little village out here in the middle of nowhere. I guess all because of that bum Gre Uh Do we have anybody in our party named Gre? We have Gremio, so maybe she's talking about him. But then again, I don't. Know why Gremio would be making these guys' lives hard. Right, this is just runes, right? Oh, hello. You got any runes I can buy? Yeah, the soldier ants killed me right outside the town. Apparently, it's because I didn't um, buy armor right off the bat. But then again, I didn't know how easy it was going to be to get money. So, oh well. Oh, you're not, you're not a, uh, I thought you were a crystal person, but apparently not. Let's see, headband. So that'd be good on Grimio, it seems like. You already have a pointed hat, so that's better. Actually, do you have a pointed hat here? No, you don't. Actually, no, you don't. Okay, so, headband for Grimio. Headband for... 
for you. Headband for you. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and just do this one at a time. That way I don't actually... I, that way I don't accidentally buy the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. I need helmet. Headband. You're fine. Uh, you have it. You need a headband. There you go. And I think Ted needs a headband as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell the excess junk there. Yeah, they don't sell for much, but you know what? I'll take it. Thunder Rune piece. I'll worry about that later. Apparently that's for enhancing our weapons. But I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's a blacksmith in this town, so well, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, tunic. Cannot be equipped by anybody, it seems like. Leather coat. That'll be good for you guys. Let's see, gloves. That'll be good on you guys down here. Leggings again. Apparently, I just forgot to buy armor for these guys. Okay, wooden shield. Uh, I don't think that'll actually. It says arm. Um, maybe we just can't equip these yet. Or maybe it's only certain people that can equip it. Or it might be that I have too much. Too much inventory space, and that's. Or my inventory is full, so yeah, I'm not able to put it on there. It might be the leather coat type thing. No, it's right there. It, I don't have space for it in the inventory. Okay, fair enough. No, maybe I don't. I don't know. What did I buy? I bought the... Oh, it was the... Uh... I think the the stuff here, yeah, they're just uh, accessories, actually. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, tunic, leather coat. Yeah, we need the leather coat for you. And then shield. We don't have a shield, but we can also give you leggings. Okay. Now, if I put out your circlet, will that give anything better? No, it seems like it's about the same. Actually, worse. Okay, fair enough. Shield, no. Ted, we need your leggings. And if we try out the boots, we get... Slightly better. Okay. Now, let me see. Do I just have too much inventory space? I think that might be the case. I might just have too much uh, stuff on hand here. So let's sell off. Let's sell off the gloves. Let's sell off the gloves, which sell for a pretty nice chunk of change there, at least compared to the other stuff. No, I have space for the shield. I just don't think anybody can actually equip it for whatever reason. I'm going to sell one of the medicines off the main guy here, because I don't think we need that many. So I'm just going to do that for the moment. And the guy that has four, yeah, we'll sell those and worry about buying more later. Why not? Oh, can she only buy it if it's a full stack? Okay. Now, can I buy the shield? Okay, it's only 300. So let me do this. Let me go on you real fast. Yeah, I guess we just can't equip the shield for whatever reason. Okay. That's kind of odd that we have a space for a shield, but we can't equip it. Hang on, let me check uh, if it's not going to equip anywhere else. No. No. Okay, I don't get the point of that then. 
What's the point of saying, hey, here's a shield you can buy, but, uh, yeah, you can't equip it. That's kind of pointless. Okay, uh, let's get out of here and see where else we gotta go. Hello, Graves. A nameless soldier. I start for him. An ordinary mother. A farmer. A poet. And... Last word of a woman who died on the street. Clive, forgive me for not dying at your hands. Well, it's not really your fault. I mean, unless unless you purposely went out to get shot or something. I don't know. Uh, looks like there's not a whole lot else to this town. Is there anything in these pots? No. Okay. Okay, you're locked. We have to go in the main passage here, I think. Hey, who are you fellows? This is Master Grady's mansion. Oh, he's probably talking about Grady, not Gremio. The guy that was saying, the lady that was saying something about Master Gr was making life hard, so it's probably referring to this guy, which makes a whole lot more sense than my party member. You're not allowed in here. What do you want? What did you say? I'm kidding. Assistant to Imperial Guard Commander Craze. Tell Grady to get out here. What? Uh, yes, sir, right away. Please wait a moment. That's right. Swing around your rank and the guy above you. What is it? Those villagers come to complain again? Get them out of here. No, sir. They say they're the, they're the Imperial Guard. Whatever they are, busy. Hurry up and... What? Imperial Guard? Did you say Imperial Guard? Why didn't you tell me sooner, you fool? Uh, he kind of did. You're just kind of absent-minded or short-tempered or a little bit of both. Welcome, welcome, members of the Imperial Guard. What brings you to this poor country town? Please, come in. Huh, looks like you're doing very well here. Oh no, not at all, sir. Forget it. You know why we're here, don't you? Indeed, sir. About the taxes, right? We've been troubled about that, too. You see, some bandits settled on nearby Mount Seifu and have been pillaging the local villages. That's why we've been unable to collect taxes and deliver them to you. But I'm glad there's nothing to be worried about now. What do you mean by that? I speak, of course, of your arrival. The arrival of the Courageous National Guard. I thought it was uh, the Imperial Guard, but whatever. Getting rid of the country bandits should be an easy task for you. You're not afraid of them, I'm sure. Oh, of course not. Mm, bandits, eh? Um, well, we should be okay. We'll crush them like flies. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Our mission is to... <laughs> I can't wait. I've been waiting for a good fight. Me too. Let's teach the bandits a lesson. Right, Poodle? Or Tear? Or whatever? Of course. Uh... Screw it. Let's do it. Even though we were, even though we were already there, young master, we mustn't. Oh, well, boys will be boys. Fine. Let's get going. Don't fall back now. I'm glad of your decision, but you do know where Mount Seifu is, right? Yeah, I already found it. So, oops. Sh shut up. I was just about to ask you. Mount Seifu is east of Rockland. Fine. Now let's go. Easy enough. Uh, see anything over here on the couch? No? No casting going on over there, I guess. Uh, nice comfy bed. Members of the Imperial Guard, the exit is this way. Yeah, that's fine, but I want to go this way. You suck. Okay, let's get out of here then, and let's go ahead and head over to Mount Saifu, or Saifu, or whatever, and see if we can't re-go through that bandit dungeon. So, why not? And all you guys, I'm curious, let me see here if you attack the guy in the back. Oh no, uh, no you can't attack the guy in the back. Okay fine, Mosquito, you attack the other Mosquito, you attack the, actually, before I forget, Rune, Boar Rune, let's do the guy in the back, you Rune. I'm curious if Firestorm hits everybody, I think it actually does hit everybody, I'll save it for later, but I was curious if it would hit everybody or just like a row of enemies. Okay, so let's see if we can't see that boar rune eventually get some work in here. 
Yeah, it just does a nice little charge attack and does a pretty good chunk of damage. And as far as I can tell, yeah, you're, uh, you're not able to attack the next turn, but I think it only lasts the one round there. And we'll probably get another level out of the banded area. Not that we need it, since everything seems to be reasonably easier. And that seemed like a storm or something. That was kind of weird, but whatever. Mount Saifu. Yeah, this is the place we've already been, I think. Phew, finally, Mount Saifu. All of you, don't check it out because of the bandits. And you too. Here we go. Come on, you take the lead. Why me? Just shut up and go. I'm the leader, so I'll go last. Uh, aren't you supposed to uh, lead by example, sir? Psha! This is exciting, isn't it, Tyr? Ted, please don't say such things. Young young master, don't put yourself in danger. Ah, uh, Grimio will be protecting you. Hey, let's go. I don't think we're having too much to worry about here. Uh, you guys should be able to be clobbered pretty easy-like. So I'm not going to worry about you guys. Yeah, you guys have, like, no HP. Beautiful. We don't even have to worry about you guys in the slightest. I think if the, like, the little thief guy or whatever the other guy was shows up, we might have to worry about it a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be a problem either way. Yeah, we definitely were supposed to come here after Rockland, but oh well. Luckily, the encounter rate is actually not too bad, so that's fine. And we get more money out of it. Not a whole lot, since we already got all the good stuff, but I think we'll live. You want to hurry up there? Granted, I don't remember the exact way to get out of here, but that's besides the point. I don't think we're going to be able to one-shot you guys for a while. And by one-shot, I mean just like one, uh, one attack per character, not just like two or three characters per one round. I think if we had a sixth party member, we'd be able to finish him off. But since our chubby mustachioed fellow doesn't seem to want to participate, we actually have to work a little harder. Not a whole lot, just enough to be slightly irritating. I thought that was the way forward. That's why I went this way instead of the other way. Okay, feel free to have the exit up here. Yes, okay, good. Uh, I'm actually curious how much the... Oh, that's totally not worth it. I was going to say how much, how much money you lose on the bribe, but apparently it's a pretty fair amount, and... Yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. Ooh, there's somebody new. Let's give it a shot. Uh, you guys, let's go ahead and do you. Let's go ahead and... You have the Unite skill, that's right. Uh, the only problem is, if we do that, then we can't use his Boar skill. But I think the Unite skill is more than enough to take these guys out. And I think with the Unite skill, you don't have to worry about... You don't have to worry about being tired the next round either. So that's also pretty good. And you guys again. Uh, I'm not going to try to bribe you guys, because one, I don't think boars give a flying crap about money, like at all. And I kind of need to heal a uh, tier there, but that's besides the point, I guess. Yeah, I don't. It'd be funny. It'd be nice if uh, the bribe didn't work on animals, simply for the fact that they wouldn't care. I mean, yeah, they drop money, but I can, I can, uh, I, I can just say, hey, they ate, they ate somebody, and the, the, uh, the money the guy was carrying ended up just, you know, 
in their lap for whatever reason. I'm not gonna bother healing you. You're fine. But, like the money that they, the money that was on the character got eaten with them. But I don't see why you'd be able to bribe them out otherwise. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can't hit the guy in the back yet. So we'll worry about the guys in the front. You talisman. Okay, you can't hit the guy in the back. So that's perfect. Uh, so you go with a firestorm, and you go with go with the queen because I think the firestorm will kill the guys in the front here. Yeah, the guys in the front don't seem to seem too terribly tough. It's kind of odd to have the queen ant so far in the back of the screen that you can't really see her. But okay, like yeah, you can't see her at all, really. And they're just gonna respawn. Okay, fair enough. So, you guys take care of the soldier ants, you unite on the queen there, you flaming arrows the queen, and you attack the queen as well. So we'll just have everybody that can focus on the queen do that, and then we'll worry about the, the front guys as we see them. Well, that doesn't actually do that much damage. Okay, I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping that if we didn't kill all the ants, uh, they wouldn't respawn. But no, that doesn't seem to be the case. So let me let me do this. Let me kill each of the ants individually and see if that causes any extra damage to. the queen when they're all gone or if they'll just respawn by the time she gets back but by the time we uh, get around to attacking her okay the fire does seem to do a lot of damage to her so that's nice and that does that does as much damage as the unite skill okay uh you are okay unbalanced Damn, she's powerful. We'll never beat her. At this rate, we'll get wiped out. Fools, what are you saying? You must protect me. Young master, let's run. I'll protect you. I don't know if we can make it. Do something. Tear, everybody stand back. I have an idea. Okay, Ted. Uh, screw it. Do it. Let me handle this. Did I, did I ever let you down? Well, except for the time that I died to the ants, but other than that. Oh, is he going to use his rune that I've been trying to figure out for a while? Well. What the hell? Ted, how did you do that? Sorry, but I can't explain right now. Tear, I'll tell you when we go home, but don't ask now. Anyway, let's get rid of the bandits and go back to Greg, mister. Hmm, this must be what Commander Craze was talking about. Uh huh. So apparently Commander Craze knows about, uh, knows about Ted's uh, power there. But either way, uh, we took out the Queen Ant here. Next episode, we'll wipe out any remaining bandits and head back to... Uh, Rock Town and Greg Minster to see what's going on there. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.